Four days away now from that election day and votes are being collected across uh, the country and across the region and in El Dorado County polling location is open uh, to the public tomorrow. But voters are already returning their ballot by mail and by drop off boxes. Case Area 3's Danica Hill had a chance to talk to a few voters and shows us the process after you drop your ballot off. And it's so easy, you know, you don't even have to go to the polls anymore. You get it in the mail and you just deliver it. Dozens of El Dorado County voters dropping their ballots at boxes across the county. So having the drop boxes is real convenient. I know it's there. I know it's secure. And so it makes it real easy and simple and I don't have to stand in line. Ballots and drop off boxes are picked up throughout the day and taken here. This is our ballot receiving room and in this room we bring all the ballots and then we receive either, either from drop boxes or from the mail postal service. Bill O'Neill, El Dorado County Registrar of Voters, walking us through the entire process. Currently we've processed 57,757 ballots. So those have all been signature checked, extracted, reviewed, which is what happens in the next room, and then tabulated. Each step involving a mix of machines and real people. They're always working with somebody else and we put them in a position where we think they'll fit best. They go through a background check. They have to go through a full application process. And if you're hesitant to trust the process, you can take a look for yourself. They can stand here and stand by the equipment close enough to see what's going on, but not so close that they could interfere with the process. This is something we're really proud of because we want people to have full transparency, full trust in the election process. For those who physically can't make it to the polls, that trust is everything. My husband is handicapped and so he can't go and vote anymore. He loves to do it originally. So yeah, so I wanted to get it in before before time ran out. And for others, it's just a simpler process. Every once in a while, I will wait till November 5th so that I can drop it in and feel like I did my due diligence, but this is convenient this time. In El Dorado County, Danica Hill, KCRA 3 News. El Dorado County elections officials also allow you to watch the process online if you want. They have cameras in every room with a 24 hour live feed. The county's 13 polling places opening tomorrow and you'll still be able to drop off your ballots there at those boxes. You can find all of those locations on the county's website.